This is To Help You Heal, and I'm your host, Marie Monville. We are going to spend 10 minutes talking about healing. What kind of healing do you need? Is it in your mindset? Is it emotional healing? Is it spiritual healing? You know, there's a lot of healing that we all need, and this is where you're going to find it every week, 10 minutes on Tuesday. I'm so glad you're spending this time with me. Welcome back. This week, we're talking about purpose. And I know for a lot of people that can feel like something that's hard to define. And sometimes we have this misguided perception that our purpose should be this thing that carries with us for all of our adult journey. And sometimes it's not like that. And what I found for myself and what I find for a lot of the people that I work with is that often our purpose is seasonal. It comes in stages of our lives. And just as we change, sometimes our purpose changes. You know, when I think about the purposes that have defined my life, probably the first purpose that I would say was being a mom. After my first husband and I got married and we decided to have kids, we knew that I was going to be a stay at home mom. I was thrilled. That was the thing that totally lit me up. It was exactly what I wanted to do. It was the kind of thing, you know, as a stay-at-home mom, you're not getting paid for it, and I didn't care. It was precisely where my heart was. And it stayed, my heart stayed in that place for a long time for, you know, for the whole season of doing that. But I think towards the ending of my season of really being a stay-at-home mom, that is, you know, a mom with school-age children, I could start to feel this shift in me, this change, this desire for more. And I think about that season, that place that I've come through now, that was a couple years ago that I really first felt that. And in the moment, I didn't know that it just was a bit of my purpose shifting. I mean, I was thinking, okay, this is logical, understandable. My kids are getting older. They don't need me the way they used to. Of course, there's this opportunity for more, an opportunity for me to explore some things and and do things that I wanted to do in a way that I had never done before. But I wasn't thinking about it along the lines of, oh, my purpose is shifting. But that's how I see it now in this place where I get it not just from my own experience, but from others that I've walked with. And I think sometimes the hard part is when one season or one stage of our purpose is drawing to a close, but we're not yet aware of it. Or we have no idea what the next thing should be. And we feel a little bit lost, you know, especially if we're coming down that season of our kids really needing us in this more intentional, you know, everyday kind of way to the point where they're transitioning to being young adults and having you know a little bit more of control over their own lives. Sometimes, you know, I think there's this possibility that we come down that road and we're not really sure where we're going. We have no clearly defined sense of what the purpose is, and we can feel a little bit lost in that. And so if that's you, if for whatever reason you're feeling a little bit lost in what your purpose is supposed to be, it's okay. There's nothing wrong with you. You haven't missed it. But this is an opportunity for you to figure out what's next find this next adventure. And so instead of placing all this stress or weight on your shoulders to say, oh, I should have had this figured out. I should know exactly what I'm doing. Why don't I know? Take that weight off. Take that pressure off and allow yourself this opportunity to say, this is a new adventure. And I get to follow God as he leads me on this journey. And I don't exactly know what's coming next, but I know that he does. I know that he's going to show me. I know that he's going to help me find this thing that's next for me, the thing that's right for me. And when I think about where does our purpose come from, you know, I would say, okay, most of the time we think about going through high school and maybe into college and identifying what our career is going to be and our career becomes our purpose. That happens. But if you are in a season of finding a new purpose and not necessarily being defined by that age group where we generally think that purpose comes alive, I think there's probably more of us 
than not, who have found a renewed version of purpose or a different purpose in this middle section of our lives. And so if you're trying to think, you know, what is my purpose? Here I am. Maybe you're in your 40s. I'm in my 40s. And you're saying to yourself, what's my purpose now? It's a place of saying, you know, what's the thing that brings me joy? What's this place of happiness? What's something that lights me up? What is the thing that I would do even if I wasn't getting paid for it? In this season of my life, I I went to college a couple years ago and completed a degree in organizational behavior. And so I work with organizations to help them strengthen their culture. I, I love taking problems and finding strategy and all those things. And there's a company that I work with and I love going in there and I say all the time, I would do this even if I wasn't getting paid for it. I'm glad I am, but I love what I do so much that I would do it even if there wasn't a dollar figure attached to it. What's that thing for you? For me, I I find pure joy in helping companies create an environment where their people want to be. You know, when you think about how much time you spend in a work environment, you spend more time with coworkers or, you know, in your work per se than you do with your family on most given days. So you should like it. It should be a place that you enjoy, but for a lot of people, it's not. And it thrills me to help change that, to make it a place where people want to be. That's the thing for me, you know, that makes me say, I would do this even if I wasn't getting paid for it. I love speaking, going to events and conferences and retreats and talking to women or men about Whatever the theme is, usually some aspect of personal growth and the deepness of our faith and the richness of the journey that God had us, has us on. I love doing that. It brings me joy. It energizes me. What's that thing for you that even as I'm describing my thing, what's the thing for you that's come to mind that you love doing? And maybe it's some capacity of ministry. You know, when I think about speaking and what I do in that, it's ministry. But when I think about the coaching and the consulting work that I do, you know, there's nothing like having a conversation one-on-one with someone and helping them to see themselves in a different way. I love that. It lights me up. What lights you up? What brings you joy? What's that thing that you could do? even if you weren't getting paid for it. And it doesn't mean that you have to have it all figured out. It doesn't mean that you need to know exactly what the next 10 steps are to make this happen. When I think about where I am now versus where I was a few years ago when I wasn't doing any of the coaching or the consulting, I didn't have a system for getting here today. I just followed where God was leading me. And he led me to this place. And It makes me marvel because I couldn't have planned this kind of journey. I wouldn't have known how to put it together, but I'm grateful for the way that he does and the way that he has, because it's brought me to this place of fulfillment of saying, I know what my purpose is in this season of my life. And it's not a purpose that I've had for my entire life, but I love the richness of it right now. And I'm a planner. I love to know exactly what comes next, but there was no understanding of that in the past few years. And so if you're finding yourself in this place where you're saying, well, I know this thing that makes me come alive. I know my thing that I would do even if I wasn't getting paid for it, but I don't know how to turn that into something. You don't have to know. All you have to do is take the next step. Whatever the thing is that you feel like God is putting on your heart to do, just take that step. He's going to show you the rest of it. He's going to open the doors for you. It doesn't mean that your life has to be in this perfect place where you, where it all looks good to be able to do this thing. Just follow him. And you know, there are a lot of pieces that play into our purpose. Sometimes it comes out of our place of pain. You know, sometimes it comes out of the brokenness that we've known. And that is why we go after this purpose. Sometimes it comes out of a place of a difference that someone made for us. And we want to be that difference maker for somebody else. Sometimes it's the opposite. We know what we would have loved to have had 
in the mechanism of support or relationship that we didn't have. And so we endeavor to provide that for somebody else. There are so many different questions or perspectives from which our purpose can arise. And so if you're saying, I'm still not sure what it is, I would just invite you to spend some time with the Lord saying, God, what is my purpose? What do you have for me in this next season? And believe that he has something really beautiful, incredible, that's going to light you up inside. That's going to make you feel alive. This thing that you would say, I would do this even if I wasn't getting paid for it. It's that meaningful to me. I know God has something for you. I know he has something that's going to lead you on this adventure. And I I know from my own experience, I'm better able to find it when I take the stress and the weight off and just embrace it like it is an adventure. Next week, we're going to talk about what happens when you share that. What happens when you share your purpose and someone doesn't get it? How do you handle criticism? How do you handle questions? How do you know who to share it with? Why is that partnership and having someone to talk about it with so valuable? Come back next week. We're going to talk about those things. Thank you for joining me for To Help You Heal. Please feel free to share this podcast with your friends. Watch for upcoming information about my book coming very soon. And it also is called To Help You Heal. You can find more information this week on your purpose, finding your purpose through my newsletter and social media accounts. You can find all that information over at my website, mariemonville.com. 